if you're working on a KitchenAid dishwasher, it makes a buzzing sound when it runs. It must be something stuck in the screen or in the pump inlet. So we're going to tear it apart and clean it out. First step is to remove the racks. For the top rack, pull it out the whole way until you can see the slide bar. This plastic end cap has to come off and then the drawer will slide right out. So to get this off, just take a small screwdriver and push that tab. And that comes off. So you take both of those off and then the drawer will come straight out. Okay, next we need to remove this tube from the back. Some dishwashers have screws that hold these in place. This one just has these metal clips. You push them aside with your finger. There's one in the back also. And the tube is loose. It's still connected at the bottom. Small clip here, pry that up, and push the tube to the side. And that is loose and ready to come out. Next, we need to take this off and you just twist this center screw to the right. If it's a little tighter, you might have to grab it with a pair of pliers, but it should not be hard to turn, so don't break it. And you just keep turning it to the right until this is loose and it comes off. Next, we have this feed tube. And on this dishwasher, this just twists to the right. And you can see when these tabs line up with those slots, it'll be loose. You can pull it straight up. When you pull it up, there is a thin plastic washer. It's either going to be stuck inside here or on top of this. There's, there it is. Don't lose that. The center plug will come straight out. And this is going to set aside. Next we need a size 20 Torx driver to take out these four screws. Once those are out, this whole screen will lift up. You can check for debris, see if there's any uh, garbage in there. I already see underneath, there's a piece of broken glass and some trash in here. So get a flashlight, inspect this area for debris. I can see we've got some sort of a, I don't know what that piece of trash is. There's some more broken glass, so this all needs to be cleaned out. So on this dishwasher, this cover needs to come off. Okay, so this is a T15 Torx. And here is another T15 Torx right here. Let's see, check this out. This cover comes out. Okay, this is probably the hardest part of this whole job is removing this cover. So I have this little 
pick tool. And what I'm going to do is get this down in here, pull that up. You're gonna need something to grab a hold of that to pull it up. It's not very hard to pull, but you gotta grab it somehow. Let me get that out. And this is the grinder. So the way this works is that this blade spins in front of the screen. So when you're cleaning the debris away, you want to make sure when you're done that this blade can spin freely. And what I found was a piece of hard plastic stuck behind the blade. So I'm pretty sure that was my problem. But just look around, make sure you get all the debris out that you can find. And when you're clean, you're probably good to go. Okay, once everything's clean, it's time to put it all back together. Make sure the inside of this cover is clean. It sits back down on here, snaps in on the right side. And the screw goes in on the left side. Next comes this cover. Again, it had quite a bit of uh, debris stuck to it, so make sure it's clean as well. Just sits in like that. One screw goes right there. Okay. Now we have the screen. Again, look real close at the inside of this. Make sure there's nothing loose in there that needs to be removed. You line up that tube with that hole and it sets back in place. Four screws go in. Now set the center post in place. Do not be tempted to push it down in. It doesn't go down there. It just sits loosely on top. Make sure the gasket is in place. Now we're going to set this on. Once we slide it down, it'll twist over and lock into place. Now we're ready to install the water tube. in from the side. That snaps in. Line this up. That snaps and up at the top. Same thing. Now for the sprayer. Set the sprayer on there. You can either turn the sprayer clockwise or turn the little screw counterclockwise. Again, it doesn't have to be very tight, but once it's in place, it should be free to spin. So that's pretty much it. We'll put the racks back in and we're done. So when you get your top drawer back in, you have to reinstall this little guy. So. These just snap in. They're a little hard to push. Snap them from the inside to the out. So you get both of those on, put the bottom drawer in, and make sure everything is clean. I mean, you really need to search around the inside of the door, the inside of the main compartment. Make sure you didn't leave anything behind. Put the bottom rack in and you should be good to go. If you like our video, please hit that like and subscribe buttons. And have a good day.